Hey guys, it's Tony again with Backwoods Biker Magazine. It's that time of month again. I got another Alpha Outpost box to show you. Hang tight. All right, welcome back. Um, just got this in a couple days ago, um, and I'll be honest with you, I've already opened it up. I've learned that uh, before I get on the camera, I should be opening boxes and checking it out so I don't look uh, like I'm ignorant. Uh, but uh, this box happens to be called the Hearn. This is the November box, um, and um, it's got some, some pretty neat stuff in this box here. Uh, as I said before, they got away from the comic book thing, which I think my opinion is a great thing uh, but this is called the Hearn um, and uh, it's set up or excuse me it has um, several different items in here for hunting and I would say this is uh, more or less a a long term slash short term um, hunting kit and uh, I'll get into that for you here and show you some of the stuff that's in here and talk to you about it. Let me see what I want first. Okay, we'll go with this first. The Demi Patch. I don't know why I call it that, but that's what I call it. All right. This says beer with a question mark. Okay, where is the beer? There is none in here. Demi, we need to talk about that. You said the beer patch and with no beer. Okay, the beer. Okay, and then uh, the next thing, let's talk about these, these arrowheads. Uh, there are five different arrowhead sets here uh, comes in different shapes and sizes on this uh, quick release uh, I guess it's a barrel release um, little cable here um, and all you gotta do is unscrew this and take these off I'm not gonna take them all off but let's just take off one of these alright this is how they come right Okay, now the frog gig went off of here too, but I'm going to talk to you about, well, let's go ahead and take these off, all right? Make it easier so you can actually see them. Uh, and we'll, we'll talk about them as we go, all right? This one here, let me see here, that would be this guy. This is, uh, they call this the Clovis. And this is more or less like your traditional North American uh, arrowhead uh, from your Native Americans. Um, and... Uh, that's a really nice one there. And then your next one, uh, they call this one the Medieval, uh, also known as a Bodkin Point. Um, pretty simple to use, but all of these, man, they are sharp, dude. They are sharp. Uh, this one here, this serrated one, they call the Kirk. Um, I guess you could saw with this if you had to. Uh, and because of the serrations, it's really not going to get that much penetration there. Uh, but it will, it will do the deed, man. And then you got a frog gig, which is uh, probably my favorite out of the set right there. Um, I like that one. And then this last one here is called the Sahara, a more complex arrow design. The double pointed shape allows for a gut hook type removal. You put this in something and it's not going to come out. All right. Now, with that being said, are these uh, practical? Are they usable? Uh, the answer is absolutely yes. Um, I haven't put these on uh, anything as of yet in regards to a spear point or um, I haven't made any arrow shafts but they're very very easy to do especially with the lashing points have got all of them have two lashing points on them and uh, there's several ways to do this but if you're going to put these on a spear or you're going to make your own uh, arrow shafts what I re recommend you do is is if you're going to do an arrow shaft you can't do it really big it depends on the bow you're going to shoot it with but let's say that you're going to put this on a, a spear point type, you know, frog gig or whatever, fish gig. Uh, what you'll do is you'll, you'll get yourself a stick that is about uh, the size of, of that finger right there, that big old snarsage finger, okay? And you'll split that down uh, just to where you can get about uh, an inch of your arrowhead 
down in the middle of that stick at the end and then you would just lash it to that and that'll be very very strong if you use a lashing uh, uh, knot in that thing it, it's not going to come out so that's a that's a winner right there that's pretty cool right and then uh, the next thing uh, that they put in here is they put a couple of these um, coil spring traps okay these are these are coil springs they're not a long spring trap uh, you can see the coils right there that's what this is called okay and uh, these are fairly simple traps um, these are very very easy to use but and I was going to set these for you but they need adjusted and uh, what I mean by that is when you go to set them it's hard at this point to get the dog to fit into the into the pan latch right there and that is very very important uh, and I just didn't take the time to do that yet uh, but it's easy the one thing that I see about this this trap that I don't really care for is the fact that it doesn't have a swivel on this end of your cable your attachment cable here right this end has got a pretty decent swivel on it now what that does it keeps the animal from turning and turning and turning uh, but if all you have is one and this happens to get caught up what happens is that the animal will just twist your trap and twist your trap and probably end up weakening your set and pulling the stake out and running off if you've got two of them if this one gets hung up then the second one will allow the rotation to continue and your animal's not going to get out of there okay uh, same thing goes if this one gets hung up then this one can keep turning for you uh, now uh, I've been asked about these traps before are these considered a body trap or, or a leg trap this is just simply a leg trap it's not a kill trap it's a catch and hold type of trap that's all it does something this size um, you know you're talking muskrat um, you know coon maybe even a fox okay but that's about it uh, on on those uh, possum but this bigger one here now you, you might be able to get by with uh, a coyote this one here is pretty stout um, and I'm thinking that yeah up to a coyote but nothing above that all right don't don't try that now <clears throat> what I would want to say to you is that first of all these are these are entry level traps okay they're entry level traps and and you can learn on these traps and they they will catch meat now they'll, they'll catch animals uh, but learn how to use them before you ever try it. before you ever try to set this trap okay make sure that you you learn how to use them and, and I'll tell you the guy's videos that has great trap videos that's Dave Canterbury he's got like seven different videos on traps and how to set them and he gives you a great lesson on that you know uh, Canterbury does a great job on these so I think that Alpha Outpost sticking these in the box is pretty stinking cool you know uh, you wouldn't put these in your day pack you know or a two-day pack um, you know, if, if I'm going out for two or three days, if I'm going to take some type of trap, it's going to be a snare. Uh, these are for more long-term sustainability, you know, but it's a, it's a great little thing right there. Uh, I didn't mention this, but uh, a set of these arrowheads like this, you can get these around uh, eight bucks, nine bucks, something like that. Uh, and this trap here, you could probably find him for about seven or eight dollars. This trap here, you're probably going to find him from... Uh, I'd say 12 to maybe $14, you know. And then the last thing that we have in here is this, they call it the hammer axe tool. Now this looks like a one tool option here. So I'm going to open this thing up for you so you can see everything here. All right now this one here is a screwdriver, flat screwdriver it looks like. Could even be a chisel, man. Yeah, what's it say there? It says it says flat screwdriver, but that dude could be a chisel too, man. That's sharper than all get out. Alright, and then you've got this guy right here, which is it says it's a cutting knife on the end, and Allen wrench in the middle there, and then a can opener here. All right, we'll just keep going here. And this obviously is a saw with a uh, fish hook on the on the uh, fish hook tool there on the top. Then this guy here is a Phillips screwdriver. It looks like. Then when you open this up, 
right? You take a look at that. It's got a little hatchet on the end here, and that it that's pretty sharp. You know, you don't have to do too much to it. Let me put a cover back on so I don't cut my hand off, right? There you go. Uh, on the other end, it's it's a hammer. Uh, okay, so we won't do that. But it's a, it's spring loaded. See that there? Doink, 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 doink. And it's got a wire cutter in there. It's got a regular uh, joint plier up in there. Yeah. Okay. That'll that'll do the job for you. Now, uh, it's uh, kind of it's got color on it, and it's got Alf Alf posts logo. See that on there? I don't know if you can see it or not. But what I would recommend doing is putting some fat wax or fixing wax on there. Um, Wood Tramp Gear has what's called Bush Butter. That's uh, uh, my favorite. But yeah, man. And we looked for a price on, on this guy. We couldn't find it. But these tools like this usually run around $20. You know, so with all of that right there, you know, so you're talking $20. That's, that's probably $35 there. That's uh, uh, $45, $55, you know, and the box is delivered to you for 50 bucks. This also comes in a nice sheath. And I might be off on, on the price on, on a couple of these things. The traps I understand uh, pretty well, so I'm, I'm firm on those there. But these little arrowheads, um, those look like high carbon steel to me. Um, doesn't say what they're made out of, uh, but I think they are high carbon steel, you know. So uh, those are pretty handy dandy, easy to sharpen. Got to keep them a uh, little bit of oil on those dudes while you're at it. But hey, look at that. For 55 bucks, all of this here, you're learning how to how to set a trap. You're learning about traps. You also got a set of, of arrowheads that have a multitude of uses. You know, the frog gig is very, very easy to use. The other four, it's going to take you some learning curve to learn how to use them, you know. But uh, overall, that's a pretty decent little box. Plus, you get tinder too. This is Tony with Backwoods Biker Magazine, looking at the Hearn box from Alpha Outpost for November. If you enjoy the video, hit that subscribe button, like it, and share it, and we'll enter you into our monthly giveaways. We gave away some nice stuff here this uh, last couple of weeks, and we're going to be doing some December giveaways that are going to blow your mind. So until next time, you ride free, you live free, and like always, you be safe and happy holidays. Thanksgiving is just a couple days off. We'll see you. Thank <laughs> you.